See if I can get it in there. Ah, uh, we gonna face the heat, bro. All right. First and foremost, I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rahat Kadash. Double honest. I ain't even on the camera. I'm gonna stand back in front of Let me see. Yeah, my camera's uh, tripod acting funny. All right. Uh, double honors to the elders of Posse GMS who rule well. Salute to brothers pushing this word and truth to city strength by Yabba Shimano Shah. And shalom to your brothers and sisters. Growing and trusting spirit and power, y'all about you know what you one of you too, right? We out here to prophesize the downfall of the wicked destructive kingdom on the Babylon the Great, Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Rome, all those ancient empires controlled and bought up into one controlled by Esau, Edom, the devil, that's about the picture of so called white men, that's a biblical nationality. And out here to gather the elect of the nation of Israel, who consists of the Negro Latinos and Native Americans. Those are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, right? So we're going to start off in uh, Revelation 13. Go ahead, bro. All right, this is uh, this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. It says, and he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Go ahead. And no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Verse 18, here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of, of a man. And his number is 603 score and six. All right, let's start back up. All right, this is, uh, this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And, he's, and he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That's, cons that's consisting of everybody on the earth, man. Small, rich, poor, baby, the whole nine, man. That's talking about all the citizens that's in the world, man. That's in the earth, man. Everybody is going to have to be tested concerning this Okay? Of course, the prophecy which is mark of the beast, okay? Contrary to what uh, some of these fake camps uh, are teaching, okay? And if you take that, you will not be saved, man. Okay? Now, you got IUIC uh, is not teaching uh, about the mark of the beast properly, okay? So, if they don't repent and snap out of it, the Heavenly Father and Son gonna destroy them, man. Because Yahweh Shemel is the spirit of prophecy, okay? And it's gonna come to a point to where he gonna separate his true men from you false prophets out there, okay? So read that from the beginning. All right, this is uh, this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Mm -hmm. And he caused all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now let's look up that word mark right there. Right, let's go into it. Because that's what you have to do uh, coming into this truth, growing it and learning and understanding the Bible. You have to look up words. So we're gonna look up this word mark here in the Greek in Revelation chapter 13, right? Which a lot of brothers know, you know, who uh, study, but this for you younger brothers that's coming to the fold, that's learning about who you are and uh, and watching out 
uh, what you're supposed to do and do concerning receive salvation. So you gotta watch out for prophecies like this. And prophecies like this concerning the mark of the beast, if you receive it, you will be destroyed. So you gotta watch out for that, okay? Because you wanna be delivered out of this wicked, riding kingdom, Babylon the Great. Right. Go ahead, bro. This is a uh, Strong's G, fifty-four eighty-two. Strong G, fifty-four eighty-two. Harax. It says uh, a pale or a stake. See, a pale or a stake. So you got to remember when John the Revelator on the island of Patmos. Okay. When he's getting these visions, they did not have no boar needle back then, okay? So, John is comparing what he's seeing taking place, uh, what he's familiar with, okay? The things that he's seen at that particular time on earth. But this is speaking about the future. So it's up to the men of the Lord, the Spirit of Yahweh Yahweh Shemel Rashad, to be able to discern and put these things together so the people that's coming to the fold amongst the Negro Latino and Native Americans and elect out of them have understanding of what John was seeing on the eyes of Patmos. So when you look up the word when you look up that word karagma, it goes into the word state. Right? So when you Google image a state, right, it looks like a large toothpick. Okay? It looks like a large toothpick. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna record time. Nah, 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 don't record us. I can't. Nah. What it's you wanna public. record us for? It's public. I'm saying though, what you, don't why, you why? I'm asking you a question. Don't you record? Why? Don't hey, you, all, right you, all, all you can law? say is, hey, I is wanna record y'all, and my response is, nah, don't record us. Just be respectful. But you can't. Why, you can't why, as a man, why as a man, why as a man not being respectful? See, you ain't doing confusion up here. I ain't brought nothing. I said I, I want to record it. I don't want you to record it. Now, if you got questions, you can ask us. Why do you want to be like this? Why are you being? Why? Why are people like that, man? Bro, you see what I'm saying? Why? 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 why amongst the Negro Latinos and Native Americans, our people are like this. Concerning I just want to each record, other, bro. Why? Why? Because this is interesting. I'm saying though, why are people so uh, disrespectful like that towards I'm one not another? Disrespectful. Towards one another. Now, why? Why? One thing why? That Answer that question. Why are our people disrespectful? so disrespectful towards one another? One thing that why? I'm disrespectful. I've called you out your name and just said it. By you filming me, that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. Yeah. In free world. You came by out you in public. By you filming me, that's disrespectful. You because you public. said you came up here and asked. Yes and said, look, I want to fix it. I, I, I didn't know. know. I didn't ask you anything. I told see you I was going to record. You see how disrespectful that is? That's not disrespect. You're in public. You see that? You is see this that? Yes it's no? our people, man, that brings confusion, Is it public, man. yes or no? That's why when is America gets destroyed, is our people love this yes place no? so much. That's is why when America yes gets no? destroyed, man, they're going to be hurt, man. You see, they can't answer questions they when you're going to be hurt. When you're another educated brother. I didn't ask you to record. I said I was going to record. But I, uh, but I, but but I said my response to you is don't record. But can you tell me to do that legally or, or in any form? No, but it's out of respect. Raising your voice, that's not respect. No, I'm, I'm speaking yeah, loud to project my voice. I'm a man. We both, we, we just talking. Okay? I ain't no, no effeminate man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't either. You know what I'm saying? I find it's just out of respect. Now, if you find it interest, interesting, ask questions. But I can record what, what I ask want. Ask questions. So here's the thing. Ask give me questions. mind. If I'm right or not. Ask if, questions. If I'm human mind, give me mind. I can only retain so much. So if you I ask, ask questions, questions. But you hear what I'm saying? Uh, see that? Look at this. Look at what he just said. He said no disrespect. No disrespect. You don't know the words. See, he I'm said no disrespect. Words. See that? See that? But him, but what he's doing is disrespect. But the see, other thing, like I was know. saying, I wanna concerning, know. Uh, hey. nah, you hey. don't want to hey. know. Hey. You, you want to bring confusion. Hey. 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 Exactly. You want to bring confusion. The Lord said, the Lord said, get your own understanding, okay? Get your own. You know what I'm saying? So the only way I can understand is he can't tell you nothing, I'm going to tell him nothing. No, no, no. But well, hear what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? saying? Big homie, much respect to y'all. Hey, is the heavenly father's son of confusion or is that the devil? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You see what I'm saying? You see how people do? Because I can ask now, him questions. You stand right here, my bro. mind is, and you see that. 
how our people my do, mind, man. My when the word is coming so out, I can't yeah. remember. Yeah. So, so I recorded. So uh, wait, he whatever came he says, I was explaining. Now I got. I can go back and say he showed the younger people. The younger people show him. The people who come in the mold may understand what to watch out for concerning prophecy. So I can go back. Come up. You see what I'm saying? So you say. Go ahead and All right. This is uh. This is First Corinthians chapter 14 verse 33. For the Most High is not the author of confusion. What is confused? What about this is confused? All churches of the saints. But how is it confused? This is uh this is Corinthians. First Corinthians. I mean he was right here. 14 verse 33. If you're trying to educate me, it's not the author of confusion. If you're trying to educate me, as in all churches of the saints. So why would I? He wasn't coming in peace. He was trying to snap pictures. I'm not snapping pictures. I'm recording. So whatever. But I asked him. But I asked him. But I asked him not to do it. And he said, "We're going to." Why are you recording? Why are you recording? Why are you recording? For edification. 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 For I won't retain all and, uh, of we were actually So the best way to retain it is yeah. to record it. So now I can sit down with my pen and pad. 82. And I can, okay, he said this. Let me go grab this scripture. Oh, that's what that scripture says. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Because the Bible also says, why do you divide the word? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Y'all be doing that all night. Yeah, that was a mistake. So when you, when you look that up, right, it's like I was explaining the word. He uh, said, rightly divided. What John the Revelator was saying on the Alabama. And I need no peace. I'm educated. But he was comparing like, yeah, what he seen. All he, all he, all seen. he was comparing what he seen. Hey, you know what I'm saying? To the, your things around, to the thing that was your around him in the ancient times. Because they didn't have no boar needles back then. Right? So, oh no, I never did. When you when you Google hey, image a state, okay, and you Google image a boar needle, right? It's similar. So that's what they were using. Uh, to push that in the last days, mark, which is the microchip into you that was using the four needle. Okay? I mean, so, you Israelites hey, out there can understand what John the Revelator was saying on the Isle of Pamela. He was saying, they ain't gonna know, uh, uh, they ain't gonna know uh, up under the Roman Empire, well, we don't know when he okay? Back. So so seeing people I'm receiving so that mark of the beast using the board needle. Okay. I don't even read, bro. I just go to him and talk to him about myself. No, 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 Hey, or I want whatever yeah. knowledge. I want to no, be able to go back to research. Hey, so what they do, they, you know they know what spit what stuff on you. Read the Bible. I just, but I, I, I just give them the name so they know. It's a board needle. Yeah. Hear me out. But I had the Lord. All right, it's back to Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he calls all the both small and great. Hey, but I'm not going to read the Bible. 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 I'm not going to read the this, one, this right here hey, is going to affect they, they everybody they on they the planet, okay? They this system the Bible, that they set up to, uh, they to the bring to one, implement he the, the, world. The, the, the completion or of the mean? digital age, okay? And they're going to use that chip to put all your information hey, on. I love it's like when you go up in uh, Walmart or you go up in Kroger, you go through that U scan, right? You go through that U scan, and some some uh, Kroger places say, like, welcome value your customer. So, but you're using that card, but it's gonna come to a point to where that barcode on the back of that card, when you scan, when you scan your hand, it's gonna say welcome value customer. Because they go into that digital, they go into that digital age, and they're gonna put all the information concerning this system and you on that mark of the beat, which is the microchip. Okay? Go ahead. So, verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. So you're gonna have to use that chip in order to buy and sell. You're gonna have to, okay? It's not gonna be nowhere around it because that's the system that they implement, okay? That's the mark of the beast. Now, everybody on this earth is gonna be tested concerning this, 
everybody. It's either you're going to ride with your house Shimon was shot, or you're going to ride with Esau, the devil that the Bible speaks of. It's going to be a separation. And then you're going to have to sacrifice. You're either going to have to ride with your house Shimon was shot, or ride with Esau Edom, the devil that the Bible speaks of, which is Satan. Okay? I got to go Go ahead. All right, it says, uh, verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. See, read that for me again. This is uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right, brothers, let's move down here up on his, in his pocket because I don't want my camera to continue to get wet and these signs to continue to get wet. Now, if it start raining, then we'll come up, come back out of that pocket, but we're gonna move down here just for a second. Real quick. Right. 